it's interesting how the barren bull on shorter legs, it's hard to get the hooks in to manipulate yeah. the legs a little bit more. Yep. Bruno may have a better, an easier time pummeling his legs in than, than others that Juan has faced. Well, here we go. We're going to find out. I think Bruno's going to pull. I think that would be smart. Whoop, double. If resets the watch. Bruno comes up. Utilizing the leg lasso. Mm -hmm. And now we'll see if I think the if the meow's stickiness can hold Bruno at bay because he's so fast. Stomping on the leg to remove the grip. Yeah, that's what Kyle was able to do. Is just like. Stick him. Here we go. Yep. Getting a little bit of angle. It's making the pant grip. Already got the De La Hiva hook out. Yep. So many people for so long have been avoiding going into uh, Joao's guard. Bruno jumps right in. Yep. yep. Utilizing a little bit of the lapel work here. Yeah, he is. He's got it fed underneath already. It would be very interesting to me to see if he does that final grip exchange to go into the worm guard from here, or if he just utilizes these grips to attempt to bear and bowl and use the lapel to help his foot stay sticky, uh, sticking to the hip. Right. Bruno controls the foot and steps over here. But it's difficult to see, but I believe the lapel is still around uh, Joao's leg. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. Bruno is so comfortable in this squatting position. Yeah. Nice. That was a beautiful way of disengaging. <laughs> you can see the quickness and just how he spun there at the end, even though it was relevant technique-wise, just the speed of Bruno Malfacini. Mm -hmm. Here we go grabbing the lapel and pulling him in. Bruno sliding his hand down, clearing that hook. Pummeling his leg back on the inside, getting a lasso here. Back to De La Hiva. Awesome. That is a very fast. Hard to get a little angle grabbing the, mm -hmm. the pants there with a lapel fed around his own leg.
Trying to spin underneath and around. Yep. Half slicer, but I don't think he cares. <laughs> <laughs> scored two, but he was going to score two right back. It almost might have been smarter to just uh, secure the, the point scoring position and then just fall back. If you know uh -oh, you're not. Uh oh, he had, almost got the knee line out, but Bruno just flipped around the lazy. Because when you go back and forth like that, it, there's, it's like it never happened. But if you get to the point scoring position and you know you're not able to stabilize, just falling back down, then, you're, then you've regained the advantage mm -hmm. that you're down. Five minutes, 20 seconds left. Bruno's winning by one advantage. Which in a final match can be all it takes. Oh, yeah. Yep. Tried to roll through and underneath, but... I think uh, Joao would maybe will look to feed the lapel to that hand there. Oh, Bernard toe hold toe attempt. Hold. I don't see Joao tapping mm -hmm. to that, but mm -hmm. could have been worth an advantage. Oh, looking to roll underneath. Yeah, he's trying to come up on a drag on the other side. Very close. There's now, yeah, it's two points, but it's going to be an easy two points to regain. Well, not easy, but it's a uh, very possible just to. Yeah, you know, it may not be so easy because of Juan's length. He's much longer from 50-50, so it may be he could spread his body out. Maybe I don't know. It's going to accept the going bottom. Still a lot of time. I was Joao maybe look to get that advantage back with uh, attacking the feet a little bit. There's the two for Bruno. Mm removing himself from the 50-50 guard. Almost, but not quite. <laughs> have to start to be concerned for both guys about the timing of any sweeps from yes. the 50-50 guard. Correct. Yeah, I think so too.
Getting control of the arm here. Mm -hmm. now he's going to get his two back. That whole exchange took about a minute. So just so we have a time reference of if Bruno sweeps back and they stay in this position, I think Kron has time to sweep one more final time. I think if their legs stay in the 50-50, then you see it looks like they're starting to come out now. Then the advantage here must might be for João. Because even Bruno looks like he's waiting. Because it's yeah, it's about timing. If they're staying here, it's about timing. Who's gonna get up and can they yep. both? Now, if Bruno gets up, can he hold for a minute 30 A minute is a long time to hold. It is. It's a, it's a very rough minute. I think Joao needs to be uh, worried about attacking a footlock here. They're coming out now. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Whoa, the toe hold. That's nasty. That went on for a minute. Now he has to come back up to the top here. He can maybe use it as a distraction it's to come on top. Going to be an advantage probably for sure. Especially if he gets it closer to, oh, to yeah. his butt. Now it will be an advantage. If he can use it to free himself and then completely disengage. Good, good strategy. We got two. two. And he'll probably get this advantage. Neither guy wants to leave it, leave it in the hands of the referees. It's go time. Yep, so it's going to be 8-8. It's going to be 8-8, one advantage apiece. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds. you got to wonder how much that, that near leg drag pass. Uh -oh, this, oh, here it goes back into 50-50. Good recovery. 24 seconds, Whoa. 24 seconds. He needs yeah. to get on top here. He, he can earn an advantage with this footlock. He looks up at the clock. He knows exactly what's going on. Yep. He's, He's going for that footlock. That could be it. Bruno's Bruno on, on a choke. choke. Uh -oh. He's on a choke. It doesn't look deep at all yet. Ten seconds remaining. He lost the choke. That ankle lock is close, though. Yeah, and he's he maybe might. a single hook might earn him an advantage here for the back. Who gets the advantage? Huh? Oh my! Oh, it's wow. going to be so close. It might be one advantage apiece, but it could be one advantage for Joao. All eyes on the center referee. One advantage oh, wow. for Bruno. Bruno did have back control at the end. And, and here we go. One advantage for Juan Leal. Well, but it's, it's still tied. It's going to a decision. But you got to wonder. At the end, it leaves quite an impression. At the end, Bruno was in a better position. Yeah. Whoa. This place is going nuts right now. Whoa. Do we have a wide shot of the referees? Whoa. Oh, here we go. Oh, my. It's Bruno Malfazzini. Unanimous. Unanimous. There was a big question of how the new black belt would do. Joao did incredible. Yeah, absolutely he did. incredible.
There were people just two years ago that said, oh, his game won't work at brown belt. Oh, his game won't work <laughs> at black belt. 